you a private practice physician looking to take your practice to the next level? If so, then you've landed in the right place. My name is Jamie. I'm a healthcare consultant with over 20 years of experience working with physicians of all specialties. In today's video, we're going to talk about these strategies that can help you expand, increase your revenue, and enhance patient experience. From optimizing operations to expanding your services, these tips will set you on a path to sustainable growth. So let's get started. Let's start with how to increase your revenue without seeing more patients. I'm a big promoter of working smarter, not harder. Of course, seeing more patients is gonna get you more revenue. But what I like to teach is what else can you offer your patients to help them with their goals? What else can you offer your patients to keep them in your office instead of going to another place to get something that you suggested? Make a list of the top procedures or surgeries that you do or whatever's making you the most money if you're in family practice. Then look at all the things the patient needs prior to surgery all the way through having surgery. You're going to be looking at getting x-rays, MRIs, where you're doing the surgery, products that they need to get for the surgery, DME, physical therapy, and so much more. Now think of ways you can bring some of those things in-house or possibly become a part owner in something that you use all the time. Or maybe you can become part owner in something like a surgery center. These are the perks to being in private practice, so use them. Maybe you could even have a procedure room in your office so patients don't have to go anywhere else to get the procedure done. Maybe you put an x-ray machine in your office so patients don't have to go somewhere else and you can figure out what's going on with them quicker. And of course, you're able to bill more. Think of other products you can offer patients that you agree with, like pain creams or supplements that you really like. Maybe you even have a physical therapist that can rent space from you. There are so many different ideas ideas and it really depends on what kind of specialty you have. This is where a healthcare consultant like me can help you come up with additional products, procedures, or services that you can offer your patients to make you additional income. These ancillary services can easily increase your revenue by $150,000, $500,000 per year, maybe even more depending on what you're doing. Now let's talk about what kind of marketing you should be doing. The first thing you need to do is look at your website. It needs to be patient friendly and look professional. It needs to have your phone number at the very top of the website so your patients can call you easily. You also need to have a services tab that shows exactly what kind of services you offer. Now while I feel that doing SEO on your website is very important, I feel that making sure you have a good online presence and a good Google page with SEO keywords on that is more important. So if you're limited on marketing funds, start with your website first, then get a company to help get you more patient reviews and do SEO keywords on your Google page. The next thing you should do is look at running social media ads. But you need to be smart about it. You need to look at what kind of procedures or services are that are making you the most money. Hopefully you enjoy doing these things too. Then you need to figure out the exact type of patient who needs these procedures. Then you create a social media campaign targeting this type of person. Make sure you're working with a company who has worked with physicians before. There are so many marketing companies out there and they're not all good. Now I do want to mention, if you're going to be running social media ad campaigns, you need to have a solid plan in place on what to do with the leads once you get them. There's no point in spending thousands of dollars if you don't have anybody who's following up with your leads. Now you don't have to run social media campaign. However, it's a really good way to advertise and target the exact patient that you're looking for. But this concept's going to apply to no matter what you do, to advertise. So get very specific about the type of procedure you want to do that makes you a good amount of money and target the type of person who needs that procedure. Lastly, let's talk about optimizing your operations. Optimizing your operations can look like improving your patient experience. Draw out a map of every encounter your patient has from the time they make their appointment all the way to the time that they check out. Add who are they talking to at each point? Is the process smooth? Are the people they're talking to friendly and smiling and helpful? Look at is your office clean and updated? Patients look at all these things. In fact, you as the doctor are the fourth and last thing a patient sees before they make the decision on whether they want to stay as your patient. The other three things are, number one, is the clinic easy to get to and easy to park? Number two, is the place clean? Are there a lot of old magazines? Is it dirty? Is there trash places? And number three, is your staff friendly? And do they follow up and do what they say they're gonna do? Remember, your best referral is gonna be from your happy patient. 
The next thing I want you to look at optimizing is your billing. Private practice physicians really need to stay on top of this. You really need to look at what's coming in and going out every single week. You need to keep an eye on your accounts receivable. You need to see how much money is sitting there and how long it takes things to get paid. Also look at how long it takes for your claims to be submitted. Look at your denial rate. Your denial rate should be 5% or less. You also need to look at who's handling your denial rates and how often they're dealing with this. This should be done daily. Now, the third thing you need to look at optimizing is your expenses. Look at how much you spend on your overhead. Obviously, you want it as low as possible, but it's gonna include staffing, marketing, rent, and other expenses. So you should really have a goal of it being below 50%. Ideally, you want it to be between 30 to 40% if possible. Now, keep in mind, every practice is different and this is just a suggestion. Now, by paying attention to your expenses, expenses and your accounts receivable, you're a lot more likely to catch if somebody's embezzling money from you. A shocking three out of four physicians are going to have an employee embezzle money from them. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. So please pay attention to your reports so you can catch it sooner than later. In summary, expanding your business offerings and optimizing your operations is a powerful way to increase your revenue and provide even greater value to your patients. Taking on this task can be daunting, especially when you're taking care of patients all day. But that's where a healthcare consultant like myself can come in here. If you'd like to learn more about what a healthcare consultant does, check out this video. You can learn how a healthcare consultant can help you scale your practice. Or if you just want to schedule a call with us directly, click the link in the description. See you guys in the next video.